Hi everyone, this is Dr. Manu Krishnan K and we have another clinical anatomy query in hand. So let's have a look on what are the typical presentations that has been shared and then we will see what causes it and how it happens. So today's discussion will be on Saturday night palsy or crutch paralysis. So as the term suggests Saturday night palsy, you will have a confusion, right? Why it is happening only in the Saturdays and how it happens. So before going to that, let's see what are the presentations of this particular condition. So we have the typical presentation where there will be weakness and loss of power of extension at the wrist causing the wrist drop. So here we have a representation of the same condition where you can see the wrist is dropped down and the person will be unable to extend the wrist and he won't be able to extend the wrist backwards. And associated with that, there will be sensory loss over a narrow strip on the back of the forearm. So these two are the typical presentations. The patient will be coming to you with this presentations. Then you have to look for the particular cause of it. So let's turn the proanatomy mode on to just identify the causes behind the Saturday night palsy. So the Saturday night palsy, there are two causes which are simple to understand. The first one is sleeping in an armchair with the limbs hanging by the side of the chair. And that will eventually put pressure on the radial nerve. And the radial nerve is the culprit here. So here we have a representation where you can see a person lying back and resting his arm on the side of the chair. And there will be a compression happening at this particular side where the radial nerve is crossing. And that puts on the pressure on that particular nerve and causes this particular condition called as Saturday night palsy. Again, the question arises, why Saturday? The thing is like, usually like the people won't sleep in this particular posture when they are sound. So when they are too drunk to get up from the chair also, they might sleep like this without any notice of any numbness or anything in the hand. So there are chances that this can happen after a party that usually happens on Saturdays. And that's why it has got the typical name, the Saturday night palsy. And another condition is like crutch paralysis. Both are having same courses. So you have seen people walking with the crutches, right? So when they keep the crutches and they walk for a long time, there are chances that there is a consistent pressure on the radial nerve by the crutch handle. So that can also induce the particular condition. And that's why it is also known as the crutch paralysis as well. Then let's have a closer look at the radial nerve here. So in this particular diagram, you can see the posterior view of the arm, where you can see the radial nerve will be like passing behind the humerus through the shaft and that too, that groove is called as the radial groove itself. So it will cross over to the lateral aspect, then it runs down anteriorly to the arm and then it turns backwards or like it uh, gets shifted over to the posterior compartment by crossing the interosseous membrane here in the forearm. So if any injury or any compression or any consistent pressure happening at the site of radial nerve can induce the paralysis of this particular muscles, which is supplied by the radial nerve and that can cause the condition wrist drop. So here you can see if the crutch is held here, there are chances that it can just compress this particular nerve. And when the person is lying on, lying back on the chair and putting the arms on the side, there are chances that the handle of the chair will be compressing the radial nerve here and causing the paralysis. So this is what happens in Saturday night palsy or the crutch paralysis. So if you have any more clinical anatomy queries, please do come in below with your queries and that will be answered soon through Proanatomy Help Desk. So thank you everyone.